One thing that's been missing so far in our discussion of fractions was any mention at all of decimals. And there's a reason for that. Decimals are just a shorthand way of writing a certain kind of fraction. What kind? Well, decimals are a shorthand way of writing what are called decimal fractions. The decimal fractions are those fractions whose denominators are powers of 10. The powers of 10 are those numbers 1, 10, 100, 1,000, and so on, that are just a 1 followed by some number of zeros. So some examples of decimal fractions might be 3 tenths, 17 thousandths, or 2,241 hundredths. And what is our shorthand way of writing these? Our shorthand way of writing these uses what's called a decimal point. To write 3 tenths as a decimal, I would write 0 0.3. To write 17 thousandths, I would write 0 0.017. To write 2,241 hundredths, I would write 22.41. So this dot, then, is called a decimal point. Now, here's a question that you might be asking yourself. How did I know where to put the decimal point in those numbers? And the answer is very, very simple. The answer is that the number of digits after the decimal point, one digit, three digits, two digits, is always the number of zeros after the one in the denominator. One zero gave us one digit. Three zeros gave us three digits. Two zeros gave us two digits. That also tells us what to do with a whole number. So if we had 12, for example, that's 12 whole things. If we wrote it as a decimal, there would be no digits after the decimal point, just as there are no zeros in the denominator. This means that if we're given a decimal, we can very easily convert that back to fraction notation. In order to do that, we look at how many digits there are after the decimal point, one in this case. And so our fraction will have a denominator consisting of a one followed by one zero. What will the numerator be? Well it'll, well, it'll just be the number 3, 2, with no decimal point. We typically call that 32. So 3.2 is 32 tenths. Noticing that we can divide both the numerator and denominator by 2, we get 16 And going to the calculator now, if we take 3.2, convert it to a fraction, that is in fact exactly what we see. We can also go to a mixed number. Now, remember when we went to a fraction, we saw that 3.2 is 32 tenths. If we wanted to make that into a mixed number by hand, we would just take 32 divided by 10. 10 goes into 32 three times with 2 left over. So this is just 3 and 2 tenths. 
notice. We've noticed previously that the part of the number before the decimal point is the whole number part. This is why. When we divide by the denominator, the part before the decimal point is our quotient. So when we make 3.2 into a mixed number, we can go directly to 3 and 2 tenths. And then noticing that we can divide the numerator and denominator both by 2, we get 3 and 1 fifth. Going to the calculator again, 3 is our whole number part. We take 0.2 and make it into a fraction we get one-fifth.